Hi, Aaron. I'm, I'm absolutely fascinated where this idea for this very disturbing film came from. I gather it, it was from a, an article you read about child assassins in, in Colombia? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Sarah, my uh, writing partner and life partner, uh, came across this article in the New York Times that um, highlighted these kids in Colombia who um, are being convinced by the elders around them to kill people for money. Um, and the, the most amazing part about the article is it had a lot of interviews with these kids. Um, it was a very kind of intimate um, portrait of their lives. And um, we just couldn't shake their stories from our yeah. brain. And, um... Were they aware, though? Do you know what I mean? Because Alexander is sort of unaware of the morality of his yes. acts. And were these kids in the interviews aware? Not at all. Um, and that's what really struck us, how little connection they had to the magnitude or the... The, uh, the tragedy of what they were doing um, and they actually had a sense of pride about it um, mm. because those kids um, were providing for their single mothers and they were being financially rewarded for what they were doing. Um, so... Well, in a way, that's what Alexander's doing, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. This film doesn't look like an Australian film. It looks like an Eastern European film. Mm. How did you... And that opening shot, that, is that Tbilisi? It is, yeah. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. I've got to go there. But, I mean, that whole feel of the film is, you know, what did you want to create there? Well, I think from the start, I didn't feel like I was the right person to tell that story about the Colombian kids. So what I wanted to do was kind of set their story, but in a nowhere land. And I wanted to tell, set the story in an impressionistic world and tell a fable about um, the relationship between kids and adults and the tragedy of um, when a kid isn't allowed to see the world through their own eyes. Mm. And um, so we set about shooting the film in Melbourne, major the majority of the film, and uh, creating this nowhere land. I was fascinated by the idea that you, you choose this... Uh, and shoot it the way you do. Um, and interesting, the idea of, of why a young Melbourne director would uh, not look at his own situation, his own context in that city uh, in terms of ideas for a film. Yeah, I mean, for us, it's not that I didn't even want to make an, you know, set it in Australia. I just didn't want to set it anywhere. Mm. And um, we've well, created that sort of nowhere land. It's mm. like. It's like a, a... Well, it is a cult, isn't it? Yeah. And it's like a cult compound. Compound, yes. You know, that could be anyone. Vincent Cassel is a huge French actor. Yeah. How did you get him attached to this? Well, it's tricky. I mean, uh, these big stars, they have uh, huge teams <laughs> that protect them from <laughs> really filmmakers is. like myself. Mm -hmm. So it took a while. But um, when we... Luckily, when he got actually read the script, he really connected with it. And he um, connected with this character who in many ways is uh, motivated paternally. <laughs> he is a very hard-working boy and reminds us every day that he is a star with a heart that beats clearly and powerfully. In fact, for the last two months, he has been our leader on the Golden Star Board. It is very beautifully cast, but I gather all the actors, with the exception of your lead, were completely unknown. Yeah, they're all, uh, all the kids and all the uh, mothers in the film were um, first time actors. Little boy, Chabriel, is, is fab fabulous as well. Where did you find him? Yes, he's good. Yeah, well, it was by far the most daunting uh, role to cast was yeah. Alexander, because. Um, He's got these scenes where he has to go kind of head to head with Cassell. Mm. So we knew we had to get a boy with a pretty um, remarkable presence. And we found Jeremy to a French school in Sydney. And he'd never acted before. And mm. he just came in for an audition. And um, I was certainly pretty blown away when I saw his tape. He really is an exceptional talent. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Is, do you know, is, is he picked up an agent or is he interested in pursuing this as a professional career? He really is that good. Yeah, he's great. I, at the premiere at Sundance, he had agents all over him. No. And I do believe he signed with a, an American agent and a big one. But hey, here, you don't have to worry about those things. You know, if you want anything, you just ask me and we'll get it. Right? 
You've withheld a lot of information from the audience in this film. Why, did, why have you done that? Well, part of it is that um, from the start, I really did want to um, tell it from Alexander's emotional perspective and from his perspective. So part of the film being told kind of with his blinkers on, um, it felt that information that he didn't know, I didn't want the audience to know either. And um, I personally feel like there's so little mystery left in the world at the moment. Where, you know, there's so much information out there. Yeah. And uh, it was really attracting to, attractive to me to kind of imbue yeah. this film with mystery. Well, it's going to be very interesting to see where your career heads. Yes, indeed. Like, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having it's me. It's really an impressive day, Bill. Thank Thanks you, a lot. I appreciate it. You know what? I think that's enough talking. Now, let's start doing. All right? So, everybody, back to your digging. Back to your digging. Alexander, over there. Over there. Let Leo work on his own little dirt project. <laughs>